Greetings, folks. Since I saw the total eclipse six years ago, I wanted to see an annular eclipse where the moon doesn't quite cover the whole sun. Well, the path of this eclipse started in Oregon, and after zipping through Nevada and Utah, it hit the Four Corners area. Cutting diagonally across New Mexico, it finally entered Texas and then headed southeast toward Corpus Christi. The shortest drive for me from southeast Oklahoma was on a line from San Angelo to San Antonio, and given the weather forecast and avoiding Austin, I targeted Mertzen, just south of San Angelo. The eclipse data for the Mertzen location is as follows. This chart tells us that the moon will just start to touch the sun at 10.20 a.m. The maximum eclipse in the ring of sunlight begins at 11.46 and lasts 4 minutes 40 seconds. The maximum obscuration of the sun is just under 90%. And an interesting little factoid, the moon's shadow is scooting through Texas at 2,033 miles per hour. Well, and now, the recorded eclipse event. It was a bit windy, so that does mess up the sound a little bit. Well, here we are in Erion County at the courthouse in Mertzen, Texas. We're on this hill. We've got a tremendous view. This would be great for night viewing if you didn't have too much city light problems. And here we have a setup. And we have an eclipse just beginning. You should be able to see the moon is starting to nip at the sun. All right, it's about uh, 1040, so the moon is starting to encroach on the sun. About another hour it should take for, uh, before it's finally at the ring of fire moment. All right, it's 11 o'clock and we're farther along. All right, it's about quarter after 11. We're starting to get some good, good coverage here. One sunspot is gone. Covered up. But the other sunspot still a little bit of ways. All right, we got about four more minutes, and it's starting to become like a ring. But you can tell the moon is not going to cover up the sun, and it's starting to get more eerie around here. It probably won't get much darker than this. But to get a glimpse of all the crowds that have showed up. There aren't very many folks here. There's one car, a couple people. These people have been here since the beginning, a couple and not much else. So definitely was expecting more folks. A contingent from the Oklahoma City area came down too. Here, look at this. Rainbow? Yeah. I don't know where it's coming from. Huh. Oh, oh that's just from here. Yeah, 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 it's coming from that. Oh, no, but it's... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, look at that. Hey, let me take a picture of that. <laughs> with, the, with the hands? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. That's cool. Almost. Start your recording. It's 46. It should be 10 seconds after. Looks like it. That's what it is. Right there. Look at it. We must be there. Yeah. There it is. Okay. There we go. It 
Yep, and this surrounding area is not much dimmer than it was. It's not going to resolve it, is it? Yeah. All right, this is about 20 minutes after, and definitely the moon is going away. And do we see that one sunspot? No, I can't see it. There's supposedly a sunspot somewhere up here, but I can't see it. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's a sunspot right there. A sunspot? Yeah, very hard to see, but when I move it a little bit, you can kind of see it, it, stays, oh, yeah. it stays with the image. Yeah. You kind of lose it if I hold still. It's like a still. little freckle. <laughs> yeah, it's a little freckle. But there's two big sunspots here and here. Oh. Are we going to be able to see oh. them? Yeah, no, they're, they're a piece of cake to see. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, we're about 40 minutes past. Well, the one reason it's we got one sun sun sunspot showing up. But we're about to uh, open up the other two. Yeah. Yeah. And it has warmed up a little bit now that the sun came back out. All right, it's about an hour later. And we are finally revealing one of the first sunspots of those of that pair. And so we might have another 20, 25 minutes. All right, we're about an hour, 10, hour, 15 minutes after. But the, picking up a few clouds. But it's kind of interesting always to see the clouds, you know, go whizzing by. Um, you can see that one sunspot that's looking pretty good. There's still one more sunspot to be revealed. Right, it's about an hour, 20 minutes or so, and we're actually doing really good on the sunspot. That you took out of your car, yeah, that he was going to order, and decided it was too expensive. All right, well, I'm going to wrap it up. That's it for tonight, for today. Yeah.